Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing about the third problem of today's weekly contest, make number of distant characters equal. The problem states that we are given two words, word 1 and word 2. And you have to return true if you can make number of distant characters in word 1 equals to number of distant characters in word 2. After performing exactly one move. So now what is the move? The move consists of two indices i and j where i is a valid index in word 1, j is a valid, valid index in word 2 and you just swap these two indexes. So after performing this move, notice that you have to perform this move. Now after performing this move, you have to return true if it is possible to make word 1 and word 2 equal, otherwise you return false, right? So let's take an example. Let's say a, b, c, c and a, b. Now you swap this c with this a. So what this string would become? This, this will become a, b, a, c and this string would become CAB, right? So in ABAC, you can see there are three distinct characters, A, B, and C. And in CAB, there are again three distinct characters, A, B, and C. So because number of distinct characters are equal, you will say that it is possible that I can perform exactly one move and make number of distinct characters equal. So you return true here. Similarly, in this particular example, you will, you will notice that despite like uh, if, if you try every possible swapping as well you will not be able to make number of distant characters in word 1 equals to number of distant characters in word 2 and hence you return false here right so hope the problem statement is clear now how to solve this so let's say this is your two strings this is word 1 and this is word 2 right now number of distant characters is let's say initially d1 here and number of distant characters initially is d2 here right so after you have to perform exactly one move. So in this one move, what exactly you can do? Let's say you, you remove this C, you, you try to swap this E. So if you try to swap this E, there is only one E here, right? So this D1 would become D1 minus one, right? Or what you can do? You, you can say that, okay, I will not swap this E, rather I will swap this A. So if we, if we swap this A, there is, a, there are other A as well. So because there are other A's, there is no change in the number of distinct characters in the word one, right? But let's say you bring in F, right? You swap A with F. So if you bring in F, this F is distinct among all these characters, right? So this D1 will be incremented by one, right? So what are the possible values of D1 after performing the swap? it can be either d1 minus 1 right or it can be d1 itself or it can be d1 plus 1 as well right so these are the possible values of d1 and same goes for d2 so d2 as well can be either decremented right because of same reasons and it can be incremented as well so this this d2 will also be in this range d2 d1 minus 1 d2 minus 1 or d2 or d2 plus 1 so this is the range of d2 now let's say d1 is 3 right and let's say d1 is uh, d2 is 6 so can we make one like can we make this equal d1 and d2 equal after exactly one swap the answer is no because if you see the min maximum value that you can get from d1 is d1 plus 1 right so you can make this 3 to 4 at the max right similarly the minimum value that you can get from d2 is d2 minus 1 so you can make this 6 to 5 at max so they are not equal as well. So th again, we are talking about the best case scenario. It might not be possible, but we are talking about the best case scenario. In best case scenario as well, they are not equal, right? So what does this mean? It means that no matter what, if the difference between D1 and D2 is greater than two, now, now why two? Because uh, you can incorporate two by the best and the worst case scenario, right? So if the difference between them is greater than two, you will not be able to make the number of distant characters equal and with this logic like we have only three cases remain if the difference is zero right because basically number of distant characters uh, in word one and number of distant characters in word two initially are equal d1 is equal to d2 or the number of distant or num difference is one or the difference is two so these are the three cases which are remaining others we have already ignored by saying that it is it is not at all possible to make d1 and d2 equal if the difference is greater than greater than 2 so this is not equal to so this up if uh, 
sorry this is this equal to is not there right so if difference should be greater than if it is greater than 2 we will say it is not possible right now how to solve for these three cases so only three cases remain 0 1 2 now how to solve for each of them let's look at it so let's look at how to solve for 0 and exact same thing we can apply to solve the case 1 and 2 as well right so let's see how to solve for 0 so what does 0 mean 0 means that initially they are equal d1 is equals to d2 and you want they them to be equal after the swap as well so let's say okay there are two first first of all there are two swaps only like one any one characters from here should go to any other character from here right so number of distant characters possible here would be 26 because it is given that each uh, word will consist of lower case English letters only so number of distant characters in first string can be 26 at max and similarly number of distant characters in second string can be at least 20, at max 20, 26 so you can try all possible combination so you will see okay I will try to swap A with C or I will try to swap B with C and so on and so forth right you will try all possible combination so now let's say you are trying out a combination CH1 or basically C1 and C2 so you are saying that I will remove C1 from the first string and C2 from the second string and now let uh, we have to check whether after doing this whether D1 and D2 remains equal or not right so how to check that again if C1 so what C1 can do C1 can either remove so C1 is removing C1 is getting removed from D1 right so if C1 is getting removed there are two possible cases either C1 can be something which is unique so for example E E is only one right because E is only one and if you remove E from here number of distant characters would be decremented by one or the second case is you take something which is more than one for example A A is more than one so in that case number of distant characters would not be decremented by one so these are the two possible cases now you want d1 to remain d1 or basically d1 and d2 to remain equal as well so there are only two cases the, the thing that should happen with d1 the same thing should happen with d2 as well so if there is new character addition at d1 there is there should be new character addition at d2 as well similarly if there is a character removal at d1 there should be a character removal at d2 as well so what would be the pseudo code look like the pseudo code would look something like this so you will try every possible combinations right because we have discussed that each of uh, there are only 26 of them so we can try every possible combination right now for each combination we will check okay after removing C ch1 and adding ch2 is the word one constant or is d1 is still d1 or not and same thing we will check for d2 if they are both constant we will return true what is the other case other cases they both are increased uh, what is the other case they both are decreased so now if we are able to implement this is constant is increased or is decreased function our problem is solved because the same kind of logic will apply to the case where the difference is one or the difference is two right so let's just let's just look at how to uh, formulate or how to know whether the diff whether by adding some character and removing some character can we uh, say in order one time or in some login time that they the word the number of distant characters in word one is not changed right so this the code would look something like this so you want the number of distant characters to be constant right so if in is equals to out so num the, the character which you are giving back the which you are removing from here is something we are which you are getting back from the previous from the swapped string if they are equal you will return true because the number of addition characters would remain constant otherwise if frequency of out is one so whatever you are removing is exactly once is present exactly once in the string for example e then d1 is decremented right so what you want you want d1 to be constant so 
this minus one should be compensated by plus one. So basically whatever is coming back should not be present in the string. Then only you will get plus one, right? So that's what we are checking. If the whatever is coming back frequency of n is equals to zero or not. If it is equals to zero, then you will get plus one and hence D1 will remain D1, right? And otherwise frequency is greater than one. So it means D1 is not getting changed at all. So you want D2, like whatever is coming back should not change anything as well. So you want frequency of in should also be not equals to zero. Then only it will not contribute anything. So hope this function is clear. And in the same, very similar way, you can write is increment and is decremented function as well. Like is increased and is decreased function as well. So this, these are very similar. Like if uh, you can see if in is equals to out, you are sure that nothing is decremented, nothing is changed. So you return false. If something is getting removed altogether. So you want the value to be increased, right? So if something is getting removed altogether, there is no other choice. You have something is decremented. Like you are decrementing something because something is removed altogether. So you return false. Otherwise you want everything. Like something is not decremented. So this minus one is not there. Now you want plus one to be there. Then only it will be increased, right? So you want the one which is coming back should be should not be present in the initial string as well. So hope this point is clear. Now the same way we solve for zero, we will solve for one and two. So let's look at the code that would make things much more clear. So this is the code. We initially find the frequencies of each of the characters, right? And uh, then we check if distinct characters difference is greater than two or not. If they are greater than two, we return false directly. Otherwise there are three cases. Difference is zero, difference is one, and difference is two. So, to to make things deterministic, I just have uh, this is if loop which will make sure that only distinct two is greater. If distinct one is greater, I would have swapped with swapped with distinct two. So that's where that means that distinct two is always greater. Now, if distinct two is always greater, so they are either equal. Now, if they are equal, what I'm doing the exact same thing. We are checking either both of them should be increased, both of them should be decreased, or both of them should be constant, right? If difference is one, then what we want is either this should be increased and this should be constant, or this should be constant and this should be decreased. That are the two cases, right? That's the two cases where you can make them equal. So that's what you're checking. Either the first one should be increased and second one should be constant, or the first one should be constant, and second one should be decreased. So then only you can make this equal. And the last case where the difference is two, there's only one case. This one should increase and this one should decrease. So that's what we're checking if, if it is increased and if it is decreased. If they are possible, we'll return true, otherwise return false, right? So hope this entire solution makes sense. Uh, notice that in this kind of problem, the main thing that you should focus on is how to write the code, like how to encapsulate your logic in function so that it will help you decrease your or simplify your if conditions. Other if if I have if I haven't written this is increased or is decreased logic uh, explicitly, I have to write various if cases like with and and ors, right? So that can be tedious in a live context. So always try to for like uh, reduce your problem statement by just defining this uh, helper functions that would help you uh, coding your in exact solution very easily, right? So hope this makes sense. If you have any doubts, please post them in the comment section below, I would be happy to answer. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.